We're expecting a big announcement this morning about the ongoing push to clean up crime around Salt Lake's downtown homeless shelters called Operation Rio Grande. Today, state leaders are scheduled to announce a dramatic drop in crime in the area around Gateway and the Rio Grande. ABC 4's Jason Wynn joins us now from that area with a preview of today's announcement. Jason? Good morning, Emily and Brian. State and city leaders are expected to release that report, or two reports, I should say, showcasing the dramatic decrease in crime here in the Rio Grande area and just up north in the Gateway District. Now, those leaders say that it's been an effort by the city and state to increase the safety here for businesses and visitors like family. With the decrease in crime, groups like the ACLU of Utah say there hasn't been enough help for for the homeless and that there's a heavy emphasis on law enforcement. The road home is scheduled to close in June and we learned just this year that the shelter in South Salt Lake is running behind schedule. We've had 5,000 arrests since August 2017, but only 243 new treatment beds opened. Now, one aspect that is still vague is what will happen to the policing efforts in the Gateway and the Rio Grande area once the Operation Rio Grande is over. That's one thing that we will be talking about with the leaders today coming up at 10 o'clock for that press conference. But coming up at 6, you'll want to hear from DPS and about their efforts to control crime in both the Rio Grande and Gateway districts. I'm Jason Wynn in Salt Lake City, ABC4 News.